Hi everyone, this video talks about littering, but before we start off, uh, let us pray first. Father God, Holy Spirit, and Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for this message, and please help us to understand and obey it. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. So, the topic is littering, and Holy Spirit wanted me to share this topic to all people to say that anyone who throws trash in the streets will never have a good life until they stop this bad habit and to change a bad habit we need to pray a lot be disciplined and do what is good be patient and persevering and at the end it is all worth it so, uh, to add into that, um, it, we need to have a habit of cleaning up our after ourselves. Um, if you have to wash the dishes, do it. Or if, if you can't see any trash around and you're in the street, Keep it in your pocket or hold on to it. Don't just throw it around anywhere and then expect someone to pick it up for you. Because then, you know what you do there? What happens is that you become prideful and selfish. Prideful because you expect someone to pick up your trash for you in the future. Selfish because... A lot of people in the world, they want to have a good environment, clean environment. But you, if you throw it, then you don't think about other people. You just think about yourself. And comparing those a person who litters and a, and someone who who does not litter and fix it uh, becomes a person to who cleans who loves to clean after themselves the one who litters will not be blessed by God because God gave us this world and all the things that he created to take care of not to treat it as trash and if we take good care of it, God will give us more, like what Jesus Christ said. More is given to you, more there is more responsibility. But if you cannot even uh, pick, af uh, pick your trash and, and clean up after yourselves, how do you expect God to give you more things? Like if you, you need money, but you throw your cigarette in the street or anywhere, how do you expect God to give you what you need? But you you treat His creation as trash. And it's just those little habits that are bad. And it's just changing it. And many people say, oh, well, I, it's hard. It's hard to change it's hard to change just because you're doing it on your own strength. You're not praying to Jesus Christ, asking Him to give you strength and to give you the wisdom and understanding to do what is right, what He wants you to do. We can't do it on our own. Because we're weak. But with God, with Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, we are strong. And no devil can hurt us. No devil can stop us if we do God's will. But if we do our will, the devil will come and destroy our life. So if you want to have a successful life, a loving, peaceful life, don't litter. Don't treat God's creation as trash. Because he's not happy with it. And if you see people do it, 
and they're and the Holy Spirit didn't tell you to speak to them do not do do not speak to them and if your child litters discipline your child because that child will turn out to be the future generation that will either help the environment our environment environment of the world or will destroy it and it's up to you as a parent to teach your child to do what is good and pleasing to God and if you see your your uh, family members litter remind them and if they get mad at you don't be hard feelings on them it's because they're just don't want to be told what to do that is right and just don't do it again you reminded them once that's it Le let God uh, deal with them okay so that is the end of the message uh, may Father God Holy Spirit and Lord Jesus Christ give you the love the peace and wisdom of Jesus Christ in your heart and mind in Jesus Christ's name Amen